In this lesson, we will learn how to use the Shell tool. This tool is used to create a hollow thin wall with a specified thickness. You can specify a constant wall thickness for all the faces and you can also exclude faces from the shell by deselecting them. The Shell tool can be found in the Solid Editing panel of the Home ribbon. Alternatively, you can type Solid Edit in the command line, press Enter, select Body, and then Shell. To get a better understanding of how this tool works, I will move on to an example. In the drawing area, you can see a cylinder. To make this cylinder hollow, I will activate the Shell tool. Once the tool is active, I will select the cylinder and press Enter. Next, I have to define the offset distance which defines the wall thickness. So I will type 1.5 and press Enter. Then I need to press Enter twice to deactivate the tool and see the final result. Notice that the cylinder became hollow. I will change the visual style to shaded to see the result better. However, when I change the visual style, no change is visible. To see what really happened, I will use the Slice tool to create a section. Now you can see clearly what happened. At this point, I will activate the Shell tool again to turn the second cylinder into a pipe. So I will select the cylinder, but before I press Enter, I will click on the top and bottom faces to remove them. Once I do, I will press Enter. Then I will type 1 and press Enter again to specify the cell offset distance. To deactivate the tool, I will press Enter twice. The pipe is ready. In the last example, you can see a solid object. Using the Shell tool, you can create the frame of a window. So I will activate the tool, select the solid, remove the front and back faces and press Enter. Finally, I will type 0.3 and press Enter to specify the offset distance. At last, I will deactivate the tool to see the result.